How's it going everyone? I hope you're all doing well and if you've paid attention to my background over the last couple of weeks, you might notice I am using a new keyboard. This is the IQ Unix L80. Now, I initially became aware of IQ Unix making mechanical keyboards due to an Ali Abdul video. And as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to get my hands on one. So when IQ Unix reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try this, I definitely wanted to. Now, full disclosure, IQ Unix did send this keyboard to me free of charge. However, they haven't told me what to say and this review is 100% my own opinion. But yeah, in terms of disclosures, I can say what I want about this keyboard. All right, so starting off as I did, let's take a look in the box. Well, obviously you get the keyboard, which is nicely protected with this plastic shield, a USB-C cable, as this is a USB-C keyboard, a very nice keycap puller and switch combo, as this keyboard is hot swappable, a 2.4 gigahertz wireless adapter, as this keyboard can be used both wired, wirelessly, and with Bluetooth, alternate keycaps, including Mac keycaps, which, I put on immediately, a cleaning tool and the manual. I must say the keyboard is nicely protected and comes with everything you need to get this keyboard going along with some really nice, useful accessories. So yeah, unboxing experience, solid. Next up, we have looks because Man, am I a sucker for how this keyboard looks. As I said, the looks were what initially attracted me towards IQ Unix keyboards. And in my opinion, this thing is truly stunning. I mean, obviously you can judge for yourself, but man, I love the retro shape with the contemporary colors, along with, of course, some modern features. So yeah, at least in my opinion, and I get that this is subjective, this thing looks awesome, but is it built well? In terms of build quality, this thing is pretty awesome. The frame feels solid, the keycaps are PBT, which is always good to see. The switches are high quality and the stabilizers are also surprisingly good, which I don't usually expect as stock. Now, I do have some issues with the included cable, which we're gonna be going over at the end, but as far as build quality for the actual keyboard goes, this thing is pretty great. The L80 is also available in several different switches. I personally have the Cherry MX Silent Reds or Pinks, as I've really been wanting to try a Silent MX switch for a long time now. And honestly, I might have a new favorite switch. Seriously, this thing is so quiet, but it doesn't feel mushy. Pretty much exactly what I want. And while I probably will lube these switches, more on that later, they already feel pretty nice. These switches have an actuation force of 45 grams, so they're pretty light, linear switches. And as I said, in my opinion, these things sound amazing. Also, if you want a different switch for the spacebar or the escape key, as it's hot swappable, you can simply just change one switch without taking the whole damn thing to pieces. Love mechanical keyboards, good hobby. Okay, moving on, IQ Unix also offer an RGB model, which I have here. I'm typically not usually one for RGB, but I still wanted to get it just to test it out. And honestly, I think it works pretty well. Now you are just using hotkeys, which I'm personally fine with as I'd much rather have that than a frankly easier to get used to, but extra key that may end up cluttering up the keyboard. Seriously, this is one of the strongest points of the keyboard. Nothing feels cluttered or overdone. It all feels very well thought through. I mean, from the three different heights to the key layout, everything just feels right. I also want to quickly say that the RGB isn't as customizable as some of the more gamery keyboards out there, but in my opinion, I don't really mind, I don't think RGB is what makes this keyboard special. So while RGB is certainly a nice addition, the fact that it's not as good as some of the more gamery keyboards out there isn't really a huge deal to me. Something that is a big deal to me is the fact that this keyboard can be used wirelessly. Now, I never used to be a huge sucker for wireless keyboards. When I was using my iMac that had a ton of USB ports so I could easily just plug one in and forget about it, ever since I switched to the M1 system, it's all USB-C. So... I gotta make it count. I also don't really wanna be using a dongle whenever I don't need to. So all of this means that I often find myself just gravitating towards wireless products. The Bluetooth connection was occasionally a little bit finicky. There is definitely a learning curve, but with enough practice, you should get used to it. Connection's good, and if you don't have Bluetooth on your computer, you can use the 2.4 gigahertz included adapter. I can use this wirelessly on my gaming PC, which isn't as pressing as it is for me using it wirelessly on my Mac, but still, it's nice to know. While in the past I have tried some wireless mechanical keyboards before, this one 
definitely my favorite. All right, next we're gonna be talking about the modularity of this keyboard. As I previously said, this keyboard is hot swappable, so you can change out the switches for anything compatible. And this is truly hot swappable, not optical switches, which I personally don't really have much of a problem with. But all the same, it's nice to know that it's compatible with a wide range of switches. Also, you can change the keycaps. Seeing as this one here has Cherry MX switches, the shape of which are almost exactly the same on Gatoron, you can basically fit any keycaps that fit Cherry switches. Just make sure to buy the right kit. Mine is Ansai. And this is in general, if you're gonna buy keycaps for your mechanical keyboard, make sure that it's the right layout. Also, bonus mention, you can change the cable as well. Now, this should be pretty obvious seeing as it's removable, but it's also a USB-C port, which is so much nicer than the previous mini USB that I was using on my old keyboard. So yeah, not bad. Overall, while this is still a pre-built keyboard, there is certainly a nice amount of modularity that you can do, especially if you're just getting into keyboards as a hobby and you think you might wanna change around your switches at some point, but you don't wanna deal with soldering in this regard at least, L80's got you covered. All right, so seeing the keyboard's good, but how's it sound? All right, so quickly before we wrap up, I do have a couple of complaints. The first one being that the included cable, while it does look nice, I did have a couple of issues with it disconnecting while I was using my keyboard. The keyboard had turned off for like a split second, then turned back on again. So not exactly a huge deal, but all in all, this really isn't that big of a complaint. And other than the lack of gaming keyboard RGB levels of customization, that's pretty much it. To summarize, I love this keyboard. Honestly, I think it's probably my favorite keyboard I've ever used and I've used a lot of mechanical keyboards. The gorgeous design, the easy modularity, and the features that it provides mean that the IQ Unix L80 is definitely gonna be my daily driver for the foreseeable future. If you are interested in picking up one of these for yourself, IQ Unix did give me a code so you can get 5% off. And if this keyboard doesn't tickle your fancy, then I've made several more mechanical keyboard videos that you can check out maybe there's something in there all right guys so that's it for today i hope you've enjoyed this one let me know by the way what do you think of this keyboard what do you like what do you not like feel free to let me know in the comments i always enjoy reading those once again a huge thank you to my patrons for helping to support the show if you want to get bonus videos or some wallpaper packs every month and much more then feel free to check that out as for now though as always thank you for watching remember to like the video if you want to see more content like this then smash that subscribe button i'm done for now and i will see you guys in the next one.